right, Daniel Ferris out of Missouri, uh, currently qualified number five. Uh, how did we do on this pass? Uh, ran another 71. Uh, we're just trying to make consistent laps. That's what's going to win this race. Um, we tried to better it a little bit, but I think the you know the air is a little worse. It's a little bit warmer. Track's got a little more heat in it, and that's kind of what we're fighting now. So the more consistent we can get, the better. All right, well, congratulations on your back-to-back -back 71s. Thank you. All right, man, here with Markowitz says he is sitting good and qualified, man. How'd you make out today? I was an 80 flat, just trying to go A to B in the heat of the day. Right on. Well, you did it, man. Great job. Uh, any thoughts for your teammates? Uh, they're awesome. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. All right, we wish you the best of luck. Mr. Markowitz, what state are you out of? Uh, Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Tampa, Florida. Right on. Yes, sir. Good luck. Thanks, guys. All right, so here we are with Taylor Laster. Uh, you know, a 379 puts you in the middle of the pack, closer to the top 10. I mean, what does that say about the competition this weekend? It's out of control. I mean, there's every good car in the country is here, tracks on point, every pass. Uh, you got to be on your A game to have a chance just to go some rounds. You know, judging by what you've been doing lately, uh, I think you're on your A game, man. You're looking great. You're very consistent. Uh, good job this weekend. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Hopefully, I just have some good luck and see what we can do. All right, so good luck, Taylor Lasser. Rodney Watley, uh, another big gun from Texas. I didn't see you yesterday qualify. Uh, did you get here late, or what happened? No, we qualified yesterday. We ran a uh, 89 to uh, put us at number 16 overnight, and then we got bumped this morning. Well, my bad. And I think we're probably still on the bump right now. I think we just went to 88. Right on, an 88. So what are you going to do to uh, solidify that? Are you going to step it up? Oh, yeah. We're going we're gonna to step it up. We're going to shoot for the 70s. Yep. A true Texan, man. Take the Jets out and let her eat. Oh, yeah. Do it all. Yeah. All right, man. Good luck. You bet. Thanks much. All right.
right, so we're here with Norman Bryson out of Georgia. Uh, you know, a lot of blown cars, a lot of turbo cars. I love it, man. You brought a nitrous car. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's uh, we love it. It's a TRE powered '69 Camaro, Pat Bennett race cars. We just ran our personal best 377. Give all the glory to God and just my pat. My dad passed away two weeks ago, so I'm giving it to him. So I'm thankful, blessed. Well, we're sorry to hear that, man. And your dad is so darn proud of you going this car at the World Series, baby, the Sweet 16. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. And thank all my, my wife, my kids, my son-in-law, my TRE, just everybody. I'm blessed. Just awesome to be here. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. So, hey, we're here with Jamie Hancock, currently qualified number nine, but, uh, you know, if, with a 76 or so. Uh, what we want to know is, did you beat that 76? Yes, sir, 374. Incredible, as he finds himself going faster today. What do you attribute that to? Um, I mean, conditions, obviously, and the hard work of my crew. My crew's working hard, keeping this thing together every pass, and going to keep beating on it. Right on. That's what we like to hear, keep beating on it. Well, good luck from Jamie Hancock. Thank you, sir. You're So here we are, top end with Jeff sitting. I'll tell you, uh, you, you seem to be sitting uh, up in the top five. Um, it sounded to me like the car might have had trouble shifting. Tell us about that last pass. Yeah, we thought we had that problem worked out. The car went to go into high gear, and it just it hit the rev limiter. It wouldn't shift for some. We thought we had it worked out. Apparently, that gremlin got back in the car here on us. Okay, do you think you're going to have it fixed and be ready for the big show? I bet we will. We'll get it knocked out and be ready. That was that was going to be a 60-something right there, but we're going to get it nailed down. The harder you run these things, you're just going to have some little issues pop, pop up. All right, so you heard it from the man, the top five, Mr. Jeff Sitton. Thanks, and good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it.
All right, Mark Wonder from the Show Me State, Missouri, man. Beautiful car. Uh, you know, uh, yesterday was a great day. Where are you sitting in qualifying? I'm not even sure if we're in yet. Uh, don't even know what it ran that last pass. We've struggled since we've got here with some different issues. And my team, we worked all night trying to get it turned around. And uh, we got it through. We got it. We got it back together here this morning and uh, made that next or made that last round. We'll see what the data shows us and uh, come back and run it to the night. I guess uh, try to try to get in this uh, elite field of cars. It's pretty crazy. Uh, all these uh, fast radial cars that we got down here. Pretty exciting. Hey, no doubt about it, Mr. Mark Woodruff. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Rob. Thanks, guys. So we have Mark Mickey here. As uh, yesterday, he did the uh, G body shuffle all the way to number one qualifier, yeah. 18 mile per hour. How you feeling, uh, day two? How are you, and how are the car feeling? Uh, car's great, man. You know, we made that 70 flat earlier. Um, came up this run, and man, we threw. I'm mean, oh, they put it. We just shit stuff the hell out of it out there, and it just spun the tire about 250 feet. So, you know, we just were trying to throw down and just go as fast as we could, and just a little warm today. So, but we're good now. Track's still badass. So. Okay, so, I mean, we do have a couple more hits left, I believe, today. Are you going to take them? Um, oh, yeah, because, I mean, we got to get in race mode, you know. I mean, and I'm, we want to build up for that, that uh, what's a home run derby tonight. So we want we want to be loaded up ready for that. So, Well, right on, ladies and gentlemen. You're number one guy, man. Unbelievable. All right, so we're here with Keith Haney yesterday, a career best. I believe it was a, you had a 374, which put you in the top 10 here in the most insane race on the planet. Tell us about today, Keith. Well, where's the excitement you had yesterday? I mean, I, you were jumping on top of the world yesterday. Yeah. What, are you a little wore out today? Woo! Woo! Hey, let me tell you something. We had to change the rear gear and that. Uh, we'd heard it last night. We didn't want to take a chance in it, so it's a totally different ratio. So we went up there, kind of shot the wind. We went 79. I don't even know what the mile an hour is. I'm sure it was over 200. Probably like 300. <laughs> I don't know about that, but let me tell you what. We got a hot rod for their asses that's coming up. I promise you. And you heard it from Haney. You know, Insaney Haney. Haney.
All right, Stevie Fast took a blast. Can't wait to tell us what you did. Let them know, man. The world is waiting. I told all those turbo clowns last night. All you people at fans, fans at home, I know y'all thought the world was in and that like something happened to the space time, time continuum. I told Mark Mickey that's kind of like you buying a car. He had like a 12-hour loan on that number one qualifying spot. So I just <laughs> got, his, got him paid in full. All right, so Mickey went a 67. What did you go? Uh, 66. I didn't want to go 52 or nothing like that. I just wanted to just beat him by 100, so we're good. I, I like to do it when the sun's out. That way later tonight, if we need to turn on the third lane out, we'll be good. We got a hot rod. You got a, that thing? You got a hot rod. I told Phil, did a burnout, and I saw him prep the racetrack. I said, if I'm still on the, the throttle at the 330, y'all can start jumping up and down. So it's good. We got a good hot rod. This is fun. Congrats, man, on your number one spot, Stevie Fast. That was the, the – all right, so I had the five iron out there before. That was a three wood. Y'all see the driver later. So we're here with Greg Powery from the Motor City Capital of the World, Michigan, man. Hey, so tell us about yesterday and your thoughts on today. Well, we've been struggling for the last all the runs until we finally got down right there. So now we got some data to work from and try to go a little faster. All right, so do you have any idea how fast you went? Uh, I think it went to 98. So you're not too far off, man. Hey, well, listen, South Georgia Motorsports Park, Sweet 16, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you.
right, so here we are with Marty Stennett from Kentucky. Uh, wow. Uh, yesterday, you had a little bit of adversity. Tell us real quick what happened and what you did to rectify it and make that beautiful pass. You were not qualified. You are now. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, yesterday, we had a steering failure uh, on the pass, about 2.1 into the run. The car was accelerating very well, uh, lost steering. It drifted over to the right. I just could not get it stopped in time to uh, keep it off the wall. Uh, my great crew, Wade Hopkins at Southern Speed, Jody Comer, Fred Pittman, Jeff Burns, the engine builder, uh, Wesley, just, man, a ton of people, people here at the track uh, that's chipped in help. Uh, uh, Mickey Thompson come in with some tires, uh, Tommy and the guys. I mean, I just, I can't, the support here is awesome in this racing family for them to come behind us and help out with us. The like important this. thing is you got it back together and you're in. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, so her, we're here with Jack Green out of Knoxville, Tennessee, with the Warbird, man. That is a wicked-looking car, the Zoomies. Uh, wow, you are here to do business in the no-time sector, huh? Oh, yeah. I think we got something for him this time. Tell us a little bit about the motor. It's, um, it's a five-inch bore space, big block Chevrolet. Right on. So are you following all the twin turbo guys, or have you reached that decision? Turbo or you're nitrous? We're nitrous all the way. Never going to make that change. <laughs> nitrous all the way. He's never going to make the change. We love it, man. Out of Knoxville, hey, we wish you the best of luck, Mr. Green. Thank you, buddy. Legendary street racer, uh, turned track racer, turned pro street racer. Just now he's a no-time king here down south, or one of them anyway. Uh, great engine builder. Scotty G, man, yesterday I saw you come out, uh, try and get a grip on it. Tell us what happened yesterday and what's happening today. Yesterday we ran actually real good. Um, one of the run, two of the runs. But we're trying all kinds of different stuff at this race, obviously, because we get to make five, six, seven runs, hopefully. But as of now, you know, now we're trying to tune for tomorrow in the heat because tomorrow's going to be hot and the track's going to be tricky. So we're just trying to make things happen now. You know, when the track's good, everybody runs good. But tomorrow's race day, that's when it counts. 
You know, it, it's amazing. I talked to a couple people, and they said that, uh, yeah, you know, thank God Scotty G's here. He helped me out. Your competitors. You're helping your competitors. Yeah, there's certain guys that, like like the red, um, what's his name, Jack, yeah. was just here. Good bunch of guys, you know, and when we go to a lot of different races, I'm always trying to help people. You know, uh, when I see a guy struggling, I like to give him a hand. And matter of fact, you know who helped this weekend, too, is uh, Big Marcus. Yeah. I helped them guys they out. Tell me that, Marcus from Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help them guys out, you know, and, and as long as they appreciate it, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? All right, well, here we are wishing you the best of luck. Scotty G, ladies and gentlemen. Slicko Jam, I'm here with the hardest working man in drag racing, Stevie Fast, uppercut again, number one in the world again. That man hit me on the chin last night, and I'm going to be honest with you, it hurt. I had a loose tooth when I woke up this morning. I told him on the top end a while ago, that was like a 90-day car note loan. I gave him a, a little, it's just a loan today, and now I just paid him back in full. Can't have them boys out there stealing my dang record like that. That's cause emotional distress. Now, listen, people. We all know Steve for years. I've told you this once. I've told you twice. Hardest working guy in drag racing now. It keeps going faster and faster. Once it cools down today, can we get even down below the mids? Like I told Don last night, we'll go fast as we need to. He don't, He's got to be one step on him. Yeah. Like hey. a gazelle. Don't let him catch you because they're trying to get you. Steven said, all I got to do is go faster than the guy in second. That's, That's it. it. That's it. We don't, we don't even have to go faster as long as we win. That's it. Just remember, drag racing is much more like chess than checkers. Stevie Fast right there. He's telling you how it is, people. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm here with Mickey221 right now. Stevie just took the number one spot. How long is that going to last? Uh, I think that shit's about over with here real soon. So. Mark said, Mark said, that's just done, yeah, okay? Yeah, we can't have that. There's no way. So. Mark said, I'm going to kick that kid to the curb again. Can't have a blower car be a number one. A you just can't one? have a blower car? No way. Hell no. Listen, so basically Mickey 221 says, enjoy a while last, Stevie. Next round, I'm putting you back, at, back where you belong in number two. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, Mark. <laughs> right. Hey, everybody. I'm here with Mark Woodruff, beautiful Corvette, and uh, special needs in the back back there. Uh, <laughs> the... Um, Hang on a second. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Mark, it seems like we're struggling a little bit. Car's fast, but for this field, you know, kind of in the mid-range there, what we got going on? Uh, we're just struggling with some issues right now. Uh, had a couple of things go wrong the first two qualifiers, and then the, the third we, we, we struggled, and then we sat out the first one or two this morning and made our first full hit down the racetrack. And we've got some data now. We'll, we'll uh, swing at it and see what we can get done here uh, uh, this next qualifier well since we got 29 qualifiers today so uh thank god that, uh, there's actually yeah there's it's like a roundy round race out here I, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking donald's kind of like putting the uh, that many qualifiers out just so i might have a chance of making the field it may be that way i don't know but it's it, it's like the woody rule you heard it we got a woody rule number one we keep going until woody qualifies i love it that's right we'll be here until next year <laughs> Hey, I'm with Jeff Miller here with the Bumblebee Camaro. Uh, already got in, first hit off the trailer with a 391. Um, Jeff, we had a little issue last week. I kept seeing on Facebook all the time. Uh, this thing got tangled up with the wall or something like that. Yeah, we had a little incident testing, knocked the front end off. Got a little tangled up with the wall. and Just the front end or the, the No, the whole, the whole front end. So we had the front half get a new front cap. How many, day, how many days did that take? Uh, as of 3 o'clock today, it was exactly seven days. Seven days and the car is on the ground. Making a hit. Yep. That's pretty, no am tested. pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So, 391 to first pass. How fast can this car go out here? Uh, with the way air stays the way it is and the track stays good, we should be able to see some bottom 70s out of it. Really? That would be awesome. So. Seven day turnaround on his crash car. Already got a 91 off the trailer. Will go 70s here when the air drops a little bit. And I think we're going to see this guy make some serious runs out here. We appreciate you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, if y'all got a warrant or anything, duck your head, we're live, all right? Mama. I'm getting back here with Mama Duck back here. Hold on. Excuse me real quick. I'm back here with Mama Duck, and uh, she's been working in the kitchen real hard down here. Thank you. Yes, I have. It's not thank you. You're welcome, okay? Look, hey, keep eating, people. We're not watching you. No. Mama's been in here cooking food for everybody on the track and everything. She's got a whole staff back here that helps out all the time. Yes, very uh, hard workers. They're, they're my buddies, and they help us for nothing, and we all love it. And if you have any complaints, don't go behind my back. Just come to my face and tell me. Hashtag Cogsler. 
Yes, Chad, boy. Dog burger. Hey, you heard it. If you got a problem with the food, McDonald's right down the road. Take it on down there. You're good. All right, guys? Checking out from the kitchen right now. See you. Hey, everybody. I'm here with Leroy Neighbors. Beautiful, beautiful blue car Corvette, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Hit number 19 right now. What, 85, right? 385, yes. Yeah. Man, we're going to pull something out or what? You're going to wait till the 13th hour? We're going to wait till round 8. You know, uh, we have to be uh, good stewards of the parts that we have. So we uh, want to make sure uh, when we make the field that we can uh, make the, uh, so the be rounds competitive, be right? competitive. Yeah. I got you, I got you. Uh, what's the big secret out here? Is there, I mean, getting down the track, uh, is you got a big secret plan? Or, I mean, you said you're going to make some rounds, save some parts, but um, at a 385, I mean, you're, you're probably a tenth off the bump maybe, maybe less? Right now the bump is a uh, 383 oh, with okay, a six. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So um, we went from a 391 to a 385, and we keep on the track and keep moving that uh, timing graph in like we're doing. We should see uh, some 70s very soon. Oh, I wouldn't put it off too long. Well, you know, we'll wait to the conditions, see how things go, and save our parts because we only have one of everything. So we don't have a spare motor and that kind of stuff in the trailer. We just got piston here. We got and what we got, right? We got I, what we got. Good say, sure what we got. I say drop the hammer is what I say. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to race wise so we can uh, be a good example, you know what I mean? I, I, a good example of what? Well, you know, just just like life, you know, you got to make good decisions. You know, we could go out it there does, and beat up our right. stuff. I believe that. Or we can play smart and wise and say, okay, let's pick this round, this condition, let's make this hit. And see if we make the field, and then uh, then go make some rounds that's instead almost, of beating it up, beating it up, beating it up, beating it up. That's almost what you would call professional racing, wouldn't it? I, I don't know. I'm learning. I guess so. We're, I just all, we're all learning. Anybody home you want to say hi to? I want to say hi to my boys that are watching, and my wife. Love you guys, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. All right, Leroy Neighbors. He's looking to bump that into the top 16. The Canadian cowboy himself, Paulo Juice, all the way from Canada. <laughs> Looks like uh, we're we're hanging right there at that. Uh, that midsection there in the 70s, buddy. What's, what we got going on? Uh, we've been trying different things and it hasn't been working, but we think we have something figured out. We're going to, we got to go bottom 70 or high 60. So that's what we're working for. Well, you know, being in the mids ain't a bad place to be. I mean, they just somebody's got to come beat you. That's all. Well, that's right. But who'd ever thought 76 is a slow run? I wouldn't say it's slow. Well, I mean, I wouldn't go that far. Right? I mean, it's just not, not in the top five or something, you know. Well, I want to be in the top five. Well, I'd like to be number one, but, you know. Yeah, number one is obviously. Good. But, but so do we, we do got a couple of tricks up our sleeve. Yes, we do. Okay, we're gonna wait till it cools down, or we're gonna. We're going that right now, like they've called us. Yeah. Uh, just torquing the wheels, did a little suspension adjustment. As soon as I'm done with you, I'm gonna slip my pants on and go make a hit. All right, just to let you know, he does have pants on right now. Okay, so. Jeans. Put them on the right. Yeah, pants. Canadian jeans though. It's like Canadian bacon. It's like bacon, but not bacon. Okay. No, they're not Canadian jeans. They, I got them at uh, Walmart in uh, Florida. Uh, that's right. He's part Floridian. Hey, Paulo Juice, keep your eye on him. Beautiful black Camaro. Got three foot of Canada sticking out of the hood of it. So keep your eye on him. Thanks. Hey, everybody. I'm here with American Made and American Paid. Keith Haney right now sitting right there on the top of the qualifying field. Had some issues last time. What we got going on? Well, we had to... We hadn't made any of the runs until this last qualifier, and the reason why is we heard a rear gear last night and um, just clipped a piston because it um, took some timing out of the motor, the uh, right height field took some timing out. So anyway, so we set out the first two. We had to try to find a gear all day and couldn't find anything. Finally, I had a gear, but the ratios were totally different. Right. So we had to put that in. We were hoping that we could uh, go up there and go fast, but unfortunately with a gear change right. and so so much of a drastic change, we had to relearn it. So we went up there and shot a, kind of shot at the dark, went 79 at uh, 199 what I go 201 last night this car we're gonna go to we're gonna go 202 and uh, we're gonna go so three, the darker one at 79 that's all <laughs> well yeah. you know I got uh, Lucas oil on there powering that dang beast he got rear Morrison got all my great sponsors out there you know the best part about it though is we're gonna ne make the next three I think we got an extra one today oh, Did yeah. we get an extra yeah, one? You know, we're gonna get like 10,000 or yeah. whatever it is but I promise you watch I, we're going to try to go in the 60s. We anybody, are. We anybody, are. Anybody home you want to say hi to? Yeah, I want to say hi to my son out there and my daughters. My daughter had a graduation picture. She looks beautiful. Um, Misty out there, say, Misty, she's going to come in tonight. Uh, anyway, we're going to have a great time. Look forward to seeing everybody. And let me tell you something. If you don't know my name, you will after this. You heard that, people. You'll know his name after this. American-made. America! -made, America. America.